Go ahead, explain that again. <laughs> these, these hoes right here, <laughs> they're pretty loyal. Because they've been held, they held up through three different turbo installs. Would you, would you say they're ratchet? They, 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 they ratchet pretty well. <laughs> Almost done. It's on there. Yeah, it's looking good. Got the water lines threaded tight, tapped. I put that other flange on because Justin helped me hold the turbo up while I put it on because I did have to resort to taking this off to get my hand in there. The stupid balance shaft casting was in my way. I couldn't get it on mm -hmm. on my own. Got that done. The down pipe, I'm about to go and deal with that nightmare right now. So, other than that, then put the three to three and a half inch. I'm running this GM math. Got to put that on. All my turbo, the intercooler piping will be on as soon as I get everything bolted. And after that, just a few more tightening down, fill up the radiator. I pressurize it with water, with, with air first to make sure I don't have any leak. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't. Yep. And then I'll fill it up with the radiator fluid. Just got to put this transmission in though, bro. You forgot this transmission. Yeah, right. That's <laughs> I, mean, I just haven't felt like moving that. <laughs> hundred pound thing across the garage yet. I yeah. don't want to risk scratching my car moving the transmission along the side of it. Yeah. I'm gonna put it up against the wall. Uh, so other than that, put, bolt up a few things, make sure all my uh, wiring is done and all the sensors are plugged in. Mm -hmm. I should be able to start it before I even put the wheels back on. I definitely want to do that and make sure everything is good and tight. I'm yep. trying to go through and have to retighten everything and trying to get everything done in one shot. Yep. Down pipe. Yeah, that's uh, uh this guy on there. That's, that's that was my last video talking about wet flange. I know if you could do it all over again, you V-band everything. Oh, do over again. That's just a matter of time. I will be V-banding <laughs> everything. I will be V. Band sponsored. My V band has V bands. Yes, seriously. <laughs> and then uh, with the other ideas I have, if I can get a hold of a TIG welder, welder, I'll, I have some other ideas for some V band setup stuff. Stunting with my V bands on. That's just the way to go. Because right here, you can see the issue right here. It's a pain. Mm -hmm. That's just a yeah problem waiting to happen. If I had Rub. V band, done. yeah, done, Flip, done. Yep. Every intercooler, and then you put one flex pipe, which I've seen that they have intercooler flex pipes mm -hmm. because your mounts are static, your intercooler is going to be static. You need something to catch the flex a little bit. Yeah. The hoses, no flex zone. No flex zone. No flex zone. <laughs> but no, um, these are pretty good, and I haven't been able to, if anybody knows what brand this is because if you see the other ones that they sell yeah this rubber this is like some kevlar or i have no idea it's just it's, it's just, so thin walled i think it's just two ply versus three ply is it yeah that looks like three ply to me though is it yeah, it's just it's thin just insanely thin and it's the strongest one mm -hmm. i ran into that these do not they don't swell yeah so uh i i try to find these i just haven't found them yep. but, you know if you guys know Tell me, dummy, look here. Uh, you know, to trolls on there, whatever. Uh, yeah. Don't feed the trolls. Whatever. <laughs> you know, it's a learning experience. Yeah. You know, so. Here's something that every DSMer knows about right there. Yeah, yeah. It's right here. That's that That's that low special right there. It's this boost leak tester. Yeah. Every DSMer should have one of these in their garage. There's links to show Some... how to make those, and they're easy. I think that whole setup cost me seven, eight dollars. Yep. Yeah. Because they leak like a sieve, you know. Go ahead and uh, real quickly, where are some of the places you've had boost leaks? Go ahead and rattle that off real quick. Yep. Uh, your EGR valve will leak. Your ma uh, The intake manifold gaskets will leak. I have a phonetic, phonetic, what are those uh, called? Phonetic spacer. spacer. That will leak. You have to put RTV on both sides. I don't care what people say. Put it on both sides, it'll leak. Yep. You will have hoses leaking um intercooler yeah leaks. fuel injectors fuel injector, o-rings leak <laughs> sprayed everywhere on my firewall um i haven't caught fire thankfully um, no. 
change all those things if you can before you start your car up because yeah. I, I ran into that problem. I put videos on showing the fuel lines. These are probably 10 years old, all these these stainless lines. I didn't yeah. buy these brand new. Yeah. But when you do that, you got to count the cost yeah. of burning your car down. You better, <laughs> you better do it right. MR2 like, people listen to that. Burning your car down. We your, know about that. Put your right wiring. Don't. Yep. Put no scabby, shoddy wiring together. And solder everything. Solder it. Don't solder use vampire it. connectors. Hack. Mm -hmm. You solder everything. Yeah, the dollar install places do tea, do vampire splices and stuff. And you'll run into problems. You get those little wire gremlins. This car yep. is already a 20-year-old, almost 20-year-old car. It's a 94. It's 20 years old. You, you, can't, you can't halfway do this stuff. And all the problems that I ran into this car have been self-induced. Absolutely. Yeah. This car's outlived a lot of people in the hood, you know. 20 years, yeah. that's a life expectancy right okay. there. Okay. Well, <laughs> this thing should have been a serving life by yeah. now. South Sac tragedy. South, yeah. <laughs> you can't halfway. All the problems that I've had with the DSM and people complain they're this and that, all my problems were self-induced because I wanted it to run so fast. I wanted it on the ground and running, running, running. And nine toes later, yeah, things being towed all the time, and people are like it's a piece of crap. It's my fault. Yep, these and people, see, oh, there's people, there's some DSMers out there that have immaculate cars because their attention to detail. Savo, that dude. <laughs> I'll just don't even try it. You can't touch that guy. He, he won't talk to you. He won't even talk to you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, For a reason. He, 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 you, if you know him, cool. <laughs> and if you don't, then you won't, because <laughs> uh, that dude's got. So, so much um, attention to details. All his bolts, factory match, torqued. He doesn't have a stray bolt anywhere. And if you nope. drop food on his engine, you can just pick it up and eat it. It's that clean. I won't even open my hood and let him see inside. Nah. And then what's the thing is, he's so cool. That's what the bad thing about being into cars. Always be humble. This dude has the most immaculate 90, 99 GSX convertible that he converted. And yeah, made just all he all drive. Yeah, one, drop. So he made it. And it's bone to the bone clean. It's, it's like it came from factory. Every well is... Mitsubishi wish they put cars together that good. Yeah. So, um, and that dude is so humble and cool. He'll come and look at your car. And, and not hate. And, and I had zip ties everywhere at one point. <laughs> and he didn't hate on me at all. He just was being advised and helpful. And that's yeah. like the greatest thing about any car community, no matter what you have. We went to what? Um, Mod. Mod yep. out in L.A., and those guys, they had the three SI guys out there. This is the thirty thousand dollar ninety nine, yeah, um, three thousand GT VR four. And those guys are balling, and they sit and talk to you, and you got this little three thousand dollar DSA garbage yeah. in there. But they're cool. Yeah, so yeah. Always be humble. Yeah. And learn from everybody because you can learn something. From so this is the honesty that you get on this channel, and I'll say the same thing. When I have my ninety five GSX, <laughs> all of the problems I ran into were self inflicted. The only one that was not self-inflicted, which was still on me, was the previous owner. It's like, he threw darts at a board and randomly put fuses in the fuse box of all different amps. And I was driving down the street off of Richards one day, and my horn went off and would not stop. It just, oh, I was driving. Problem. Problem. <laughs> <laughs> problem. 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 disconnected because I have yeah. the detachable NRG. Problem. Yeah. Yeah, I have not figured out the um, the Konami code to get that thing to to, to honk? up and functionally work. Uh -oh. You had yours hooked up to a switch, right? Yeah, yeah. but that's because I have a I have a removable wheel. Is your wheel removable? The steering wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, it detaches, and yeah. I can't figure out how to get that thing to detach and get the horn. To yeah, function. I I know how to get that to work. I, I'll anyway, tell you. You want a road rager? I can't even honk a horn at it. Nope. It's better off that way. It keeps got, you alive. I got a trunk full of birds. <laughs> bird machine. Bird machine. <laughs> That's the real angry birds. All right. <laughs> On that note, stay tuned to the channel. We got more videos coming. You're going to see this beast start up a little bit later. And yes, I am tightening an AN fitting with a real... I'm not spending $80 on an AN wrench. I didn't buy these fittings new. I'm tightening it with a... The Monkey guy, wrench. The, the idiot wrench. There you go. It's just honest. She's the honest. All right, you guys take care. We'll catch you guys later. GoPro, Earth Thing. Peace. Peace.